Okay, so here we are. Uh, no contracts associated with this. This is just a science probe. Um, let's just run. So we're going to go running. We've got to write our orbit script. We're going to head towards the south at a heading of 80, 185 degrees. That seemed to work really well. And we're going to go for a 200,000 meter orbit, otherwise known as 200 kilometers. Okay, that should be good. I've noticed that Big Boss is talking about when you put on the aerodynamic overlay in the in the VAB or in the space plane hangar. Sometimes the ball looks really small. I I've seen that, and I'm, I'm I've never quite understood that. It's not your imagination, <laughs> but sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if it's a mod that causes it. I I honestly don't know. Bang! What what's gonna go bang? It's gonna go bang. You're paranoid. Hooter's paranoid. So the goal with this is science. We have a gravity scanner on there, and I definitely want to launch more gravity scans, get that kind of stuff going. We also have this new herd experiment. Which uh I've yet to try out, but that's what requires me to go into a polar orbit. And if I recall correctly, let's just filter by this vessel. Oh, it takes 14 days to collect. Mm. The data rate's only 630 bytes per second, so it, it it's not it's not like the gravity scan that takes a lot of bandwidth. Uh, probably don't. Sorry, let's look at it again. Maybe put one in low space, one in high space, and just kind of call it. The herd. Oh, inner. It's for. Oh, it's for magnetic. Okay, so we need to put one in the inner belt, outer belt, and the magnetosphere. That's so. We'll we'll end up launching three of the herds. <laughs> three herds. I heard that before. I'm noticing at the same time it stages the fairings, it also comes across and locks onto the orbital prograde vector. Look at that 90.0 inclination. It might not stay there, but that really, that really makes me happy. Okay, going for 200 kilometers on our apogee. And then uh, we'll figure, it's kind of weird that you're going for, it's measuring magnetic fields, but it's got to be in a polar orbit. But the magnetic fields, like, you know, go more or less around the equator, not really. So it's kind of, you're going to have, no matter what you do, you're going to be in something that's going to go in and out of the magnetic fields all the time. I find that just a weird combination. I wonder why it's set up that way. Oh, we are in space. And deploying stuff, only 33 meters per second left in this stage, but I'll turn this down to give it a reasonably sane TWR. Um, oh, the burn's all set up, but again, I'm not going to let you do it. You are not to be trusted. SAS on. Oh yes, and we have hardly any reaction wheels, so I'm right now <gasps> hard on the pitch, trying to get up to where that burn is. It's getting there.
I got eight minutes to get there, so it's not a biggie. Perhaps it takes different readings from different latitudes. I guess so. I'm not much... Don't know much about no space science probes, really. It might be based on something historical. Who knows? Okay, just trying to get right onto that little vector there, and then we'll... Got to be a little careful when I time warp, because it won't freeze its attitude when I time warp. So if it's already kind of moving a little bit, it'll just move even worse when I time warp. Okay, let's time warp cautiously. There we go. Will this stage? Yes, it will. So coming over the, we went south, so we should be coming over Antarctica. Oh, like this looks like South America here. Is that right? Oh my gosh. Why is it always default to like crazy mode? Yeah, that's South America over here. We should be seeing, oh, starting to see some Aurora Australis. You can start to see Antarctica coming up below us. This might be my first polar orbit. No, it's not. I got mapping satellites. That's right. It's not my first polar orbit. Just going to try and get right onto that. Maneuver node again. Got 30 seconds to the burn. Oh yeah, I'll turn on the magnetic field view in just a little bit. We can see what we're doing. Because um, there's still... There's going to be a lot of delta V in this little probe up at the top when I'm done with this orbital insertion. Okay, so six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Whoa, 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 why did it completely lose attitude control? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going, mister? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, there, oh, it's just, okay, I, d I know what's up. I know what's up. Okay, reduce throttle. Okay, so, should have tested this in orbit. <laughs> have to remember this for next time. Remember before I got just to the point of saying, oh, it'll be fine. I should have gone a little bit further in my testing. There is a most certainly a mass imbalance here. Okay, you know what? It's good enough. Just let this, just let this go. So, yeah, it has to do with this stupid antenna being way. I wonder if I could retract this. Okay. I'm going to just... I don't know if it's... When I open that, if it's simulating the mass being out here. But there was definitely a mass imbalance there. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, I, whatever. We're in an orbit. Okay. So, let's put on that lower belt magnetic field. And what I'd like to do... I think I want to make it just a little bit higher. Oh, I should have upgraded the probe body because every time it goes through this radiation belt, it's going to get cooked a little bit. Yeah, I think I want to go just a little bit higher. Maximize my time in the magnetic field here. Oh, of course there's no storage space because I just noticed, but that's because I took the antenna down, so there's no transmitting happening. That's okay. We'll get this sorted out first. Okay, prograde. Now, if I keep the thrust down, I should be okay. Just a little bit of thrust. I just want to push this out so it's a little bit more solidly into the belt. 
That looks pretty good. Okay, and then we will tumble on. Should probably pay attention. No, electricity is fine. Lunar 5 Pro batteries are getting low. Well, whatever. It should take care of itself. With luck, it should take care of itself. There's no more electricity in Lunar 5. We've lost control. Okay. I, I. Oh, that's a different Lunar Probe. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I never set that one up either. That could be, but whatever, I can't communicate with it now. Okay, I just want to push up that periapsis just a little bit. Okay, that's making me happy. Alright, so, open up KOS. Oh, there's no KOS pro core on this, you dope. Uh, so let's just orient this for solar panel purposes. Just kind of do it manually. So you can see there's still lots of Delta V, so if I want to go to a higher belt, I can with the next probe, but I definitely want to finish that, or fix that thrust balancing issue. Let's extend that antenna. So this, this is, if we can start transmitting some of this away, we should also get into the automation. And if the drive is full, we want to turn off the gravity scan and if the drive is empty, we want to turn it back on again. Okay. So, are we transmitting stuff away? We should be. We're transmitting, right? I want to start... Oh, but the, the herd is still running. You know what? I'm just going to leave this. Let this run. We've transmitted point one science. I think it should be okay. 